Hello, and welcome to Monday night's edition of Moral Outrage. Today's topic is factory farming, the truths and dirty details about where your food comes from and what you're really ingesting. The origin of farming in the first place was a very necessary and honest form of survival for early settlers and humans. People relied solely on the animals they owned for food, clothing, and other uses. These people valued the animals they owned and took care of them, because without them, they would not be able to survive. Whereas today the people of our time take for granted the abundance of food before us, we don't hold the same standards as we used to when it comes to food and animals. Today farming has become a business and a very competitive industry. Companies develop better and more efficient ways of producing their product in order to make the most profit. They develop different forms of manufacturing and the different products they have to offer. For example, for about every food type there is a factory mass producing that product to sell to consumers. To the average person going along their day, stopping at the grocery store to pick up food for dinner, or the rest of the week, it seems like an honest day, not knowing the horrors that take place before they pick up that chicken breast or hamburger patty. Inside those factory farming operations, workers and the animals are exposed to treatment that no living, breathing, and feeling creature should go through. Animals in the factory are put on assembly lines where they travel to their painful deaths. The animals being fully alive and without the slightest anesthetic to ease their pain are dropped into boiling hot buckets of water and other chemicals that desanitize the meat. Then they are emptied onto another assembly belt where workers work to decapitate, de-skin, and de-bone the animals, sometimes handling up to 40 birds per minute. The average factory farming plant will handle and process about 180,000 birds a day. With a quota that large, workers are working constantly for hours without breaks to even use the washroom. Some workers even reported wearing adult diapers so they could relieve themselves as they're not being able to hold it all day. Also, with the process of obtaining the meat being horrific, the workers having diapers full of feces in their pants. As the average person can begin to put together all of the facts, we can address the serious and moral issues with the topic. This issue being a violation in the eyes of all reasonable people is especially immoral in the eyes of the church, and that the base level of human dignity is not being upheld for the workers and even the animals. When we begin to look at for a solution to the problem, many factors come into play. For example, the high demand for food around the world opens up opportunities that lead to the mistreatment of animals and allows for these things to happen. The only reasonable solution available is to have a strong set of rules and practices to end the mistreatment of the animals and to give the workers better rights. We can only hope for these practices to become made clear and to, the, and to educate the public in order to help end factory farming.